Well, it comes to a time when you think, well, why do people actually throw things away? Now, coming back to this tent, I said I'd do a follow-up, and all that's wrong with it, right, I'll bring you inside here, is there's a little hole up in this right-hand corner as you out come into the tent. But other than that, perfectly okay. Nothing wrong with it. Not even a tear in the floor. I'm liking this. Um, I may already have someone that might want a tent. It's actually nice and warm in here, actually. It's been a cold, chilly day. There's nothing wrong with the, the fly screen or anything like that. Um, I haven't tried the zipper, so we'll try it all now. Oh, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. The windows all even open up. Roll up, the zipper works on that one. Haven't tried this one, but oh yeah, that works all right. That's all you got to do to undo a tent. And that'll roll up. That'll be good. This one, yeah, not a problem. So I don't know why they've thrown it away. It's unreal. Didn't have ropes like this. These ropes here. Um, it had the poles but no ropes. Uh, there is guide ropes for the corners. I just haven't put them out, that's all, because we ain't got pegs for it. So, um, yeah, I don't know why they threw it away. It was very wet when I picked it up. So, yeah. And the tarp, it looks like it was over here. So I've got it over here. Looks like they had it pegged down on all the corners, because you can see the corners all torn. That one there, and now all the four corners are torn. But there's no holes actually in the tarp. So I've got a feeling they had it over top and they've got a gust of wind in it and she's blew away. But these old blue tarps, they don't hold much water out. I do know that myself. Um, I would rather the um, silver back ones where they're all silver and whatnot. I had to put peg, a uh, brick on it to stop it blowing away. There's a little hole here in it, right there. Probably from use, there's a couple there. So yeah, other than that, I can't find anything else wrong with them. So, that tarp's going to come to some use. I'll probably give it to with when I um, give it to a person that's probably wanting a tarp and a tent uh, with the tent. So yeah, not too bad. Sort of liking that. Might even keep it myself. But anyway, um, we're actually in the midst of um, getting ready for a scrap run. So that'll be done this week. This is what we've already got. Um, there's three IBC pods on there. I've never had the three on there before. June's madly over there scrapping some stuff out. There's three on there, two on the front and one on the back. And we've got the trailer over here, all loaded up. Well, we're still loading it, but um, yeah, we've got another pod in there. So we're gonna take over a good load. We've gotta go over and do some doctor stuff for, for ourselves and that sort of thing. We thought, well, why not take a load over with us? So that's what we're preparing for. Madly pulling things apart and whatnot for ferrous metals. And uh, yeah, we'll put it all through. I'm surprised the actual mower, the little right on mower, toes it all. I reckon there's probably about 250 kilos, probably 300 kilos there on the back. This is some of the area also, uh, what we actually maintain too. I thought I'd just you know, get away from all the, all the shed and that sort of thing and bring us down, show us what we actually maintain. Which, I don't actually show this, but, you know, there's been some comments about it and I thought, well, yeah, this is what we maintain. Set of barbecues there, they're gas barbecues, gas electric. Uh, we clean those, we mow all of this lawn here. Um, it goes down a fair way, there's some shelters down there. I'll take you down there and have a look. But, you know, this is what we see every day. Nice big lake. It's still in flood from November last year. Um, where these steps are right here, there's a concrete wall. So it did come up, oh, I think it was about here. About here, so it's going down good, probably two, three feet, not much, probably more, not sure. Uh, but the grass is slowly growing back. So yeah, oh, I can actually see the concrete wall. Down in there somewhere. There it is, right at the edge, right there. So that's our concrete wall. 
down here it, it jut, juts out and that sort of thing so it goes further out you can see the buoy up there back in the day when they first started this i should say back in the day when they first started this club because it's the boat club um they used to have races out here and they used to use this tower for their start go um they had a timer up top and that sort of thing um stairs there and that sort of thing you will go for a walk many months ago i couldn't walk up here give you a good view he's a bit ratted out in here not much i can do about that but you can actually see i'm hoping you can see the concrete wall is, comes along and goes along there she's a bit of a oh, you'd probably be uh, at least another foot of water on that then it goes down here just down here starts into tires now i did myself and my father many years ago help build that wall up there just in tires um but yeah it's a beautiful lake plenty of fish in there murray cod carp they call it the european carp there's one just jumping over there um yellow belly better known as um what do they call the yellow belly yeah yellow belly <laughs> yeah that's what they are oh geez i better fix that up down there um and it went like it went over the huts up there i'll take you up there very shortly and we'll get the end from here well, when it comes to us working here and that sort of thing uh we've known about this place for many many years uh we used to work here just doing get weekend gatekeeping um and that's when my parents were caretakers here so now that they've passed on and well, not passed on there well, my mother bless her soul passed away um and my father's up there with my second eldest sister so um yeah and that's how i actually, we actually landed the job uh because they left and they had plenty of other caretakers come in and that sort of thing and they were after a caretaker while COVID was on and we were about at the time so uh they asked us and we didn't we didn't hesitate we said yes please so that's why we know a fair bit about this place and uh yeah it's just one of those things that you it's good to land a job when you can uh there's another toilet block way up the back up there we'll go up there and have a look just thought i'd try and make it a fairly good video for you all show you what we maintain fairly big area uh we mow all well i mow all of this um we usually got caravans and whatnot during the summer camping up on that second bank um and they come down they run their leads along and down across the road and that sort of thing for power there's power also at the toilets um yeah pretty big place that's looking back from where we've just walked from uh this is part of the boat ramp right here go the boat ramp goes back to those buoys that are in the water the big orange ones well, that, that's where the concrete finishes so it's still go a fair way to, to go before we won't run out of water where we can't get boats in and this is the other spot on the other side we call it the north side we've just come from the south side it's a fairly big area that we've got to maintain it takes me oh roughly around three days to mow the whole thing that's full eight hour days so yeah it's a fairly big area like there used to be where before the before it actually flooded um there used to be nice green grass here used to be but i've got to get to and start spraying and that sort of thing get rid of all the weeds so we can get some good nice green grass coming back so um it has killed some of the trees and that sort of thing like some of the willow trees and that so a couple of tables here as well another barbecue another one we've got to clean when this side's see this side at the moment they're not allowed to ski on this side um or any recreation on this side of this wall uh, it's all on the other side of the boat ramp more because there's too many objects underneath this water here that's actually protruding out no no one knows where they are 
like where the buoys are here there's a tire wall um, I didn't help build that one my actual father done that one but um, down further if you're able to screenshot or zoom in I might be able to get that closer there's some star picket posts out in the water there the tire wall out there has actually fallen in so it's come up past all of this and that's why this shelter's all buggered up you can see how far up the water got I'll have to get to and clean all that up I could come back up to the you know well you could say yeah about here yeah about there I think it was you can see where the where it's, the grass is actually growing back right here so that's pretty good I reckon grass will go back like mother nature always comes and sorts us out but um, yeah water does a lot of destruction there's the star picket post down there there's definitely no grass left here so uh, a lot of destruction when flood comes through we're still waiting for the water to go down so we can fix our tire uh, all this tire wall where the star pickets are that's actually been washed out and um, we don't know what the, what's like underneath all these trees here they've died because of the flood they're not used to so much water this section here is where we usually have a lot of lot more campers like travelers that sort of thing because um, there's a lot more power here and we've got the toilet block sitting right there uh, hot and cold showers power ten dollars a night per person per night I reckon that's pretty damn cheap that's Australian dollars too um, that black tire wall in the distance as you can see up there that's a jet boat track so I'll take us up there and I'll show you that just thought it shows about a bit that's all it is um, show you the tent how good the tent was that sort of thing um, so yeah we'll go and have a look at the track okay this is part of the jet boat track well it's actually the whole jet boat track there's only one section to it I'll go up to the gate over here so you're not looking through the fence we've got five sheep in there at the moment good lawnmowers bit hard for me to mow the banks and that sort of thing so we put some sheep in there they roamed off the road no one's come to claim them yet anyway that's part of the jet boat track um, there's usually water up over these tires here uh, if you go back through one of my videos um, it shows me doing a um, video on how full the track is I think there's a screenshot I'm not sure can't remember no there's actually a jet boat racing um, and on how full it is uh, with boats and that sort of thing in there and this is how it empties out look we can empty it out from a pump that's way down the bottom down there uh, they take all their time keeping from the tower over there it's only a shipping container with a, a hut on top um, most of this track myself and my father built this with all the tires we put it in it's a lot of, lot of hours and labor uh, you're looking at probably over a thousand hours or more probably more I don't like I'm going to get estimating I'd have to go back through the log and um, think on how many hours I've done in there there's a lot of screws that screw these tires together so there's a lot of dedication in this into this um, track itself so yeah and that's why we were actually delegated to come and work here because they knew how our, how our work ethic was um, and that's basically why we landed a job really you know we've been here before and pretty terrific but anyway um just thought I'd show you around uh show you what we do around here and that sort of thing there was a couple of comments like I said earlier um show us what we do around here so that's what I'm doing um bit of a mix up showed the tent uh nothing wrong with the old tent um kiosk right there I've been using it for a pen for pinning the sheep up lately. So yeah, if you've come this far in the video and you like the content, uh, or like this video anyway, um, don't forget to um, smash that like button. That way you're recommending the video to other other viewers. Here with me, doing the gate up, walking through it. Um, and if you wish to subscribe, 
don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified if you do subscribe when a new video comes out. So on the note everyone, I'm going to end it off there. Hope you enjoyed every, every bit of this part of the video and me doing a follow up of the tent and that sort of thing. Can't believe it was only one little hole. But anyway, uh, till next time everyone, happy dumpster diving. Stay safe out there and enjoy life. Till next time, catch us later. Cheerio.